Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a, such an exciting video for you. I got my Chic Sparrow um, Rustic Tote in the mail. My mom purchased this for me um, for a Christmas and birthday present. Um, I know Christmas is not until December and my birthday is not until January, but I asked my mom if I could have it as a combined gift and she just ordered it. So thank you, I'm so excited. And um, so yeah, let's get to unboxing this. We're in my living room. Um, cause it's a, oh, and of course I'm filming with my camera on the cat tree and there's my cat. So she might be making an appearance. I'm going to get her out of here once I open this box. Oh, lovely. Okay. Time to go bye bye kitty. <gasps> Say bye. Let's open the box. There it is, and I can see already there's a, those little Carpe Diem cards that I've seen on the Facebook groups that are coming with the items now. It's really nicely packed. Now this was shipped, obviously from Shakespeare to my home in the UK. So um, if there are any UK Shakespeare lovers, hi. Um, so I have my invoice, and then here it is. Ah! I'm so excited. You can see it has Shakespeare written on it in the twine. So let's open it. Oh, I'm so excited. Here it is. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's so heavy because it's like obviously really high quality leather. Look at it. Ooh, and you can see like from where it's been folded and stuff, a little bit of distressing. So it has the Chic Sparrow imprint. And then this is the Pelican leather straps. Then I'm not sure what type of leather this is. I think I've seen people say it might be oil tanned. I'm not positive. And then on the inside, there's a pocket on that side, and this one has the little clasp, which I will remove the plastic from. It is a big, like, big lobster claw. And then on the other side, you have the other pocket. Let's see if I can... That has a pen loop and then another slip pocket. So I'll show it to you on... So this is what it looks like on, um, on the website it says it is 16 inches wide and 5 inches deep here. And I don't know how tall it is, but the strap job I think is 11 inches or something. And I am a plus size lady if you couldn't tell. So this is a perfectly good strap drop for me. And I mean, I'm pretty large, so I think it would fit most people very well. If you're very short and petite, it might be a little bit long, but I would rather have it longer than shorter. And then these do lengthen with the weight of your stuff over time. So you can kind of see it against me. And I am a US size 22, if you wanted to know for reference. So let's see there it is okay so I wanted to kind of stuff it and show you my stuff in it so you can see what would fit so let's start with the most important part and that would be the traveler's notebooks so here is my a6 creme in dark chocolate this is a deluxe from chic sparrow this is my only um, Chic Sparrow TN, by the way, but I'll go ahead and put this in here. This is my everyday carry, so no matter where I'm going, this baby's going with me. I have this narrow, classic, whatever you want to call it, um, Traveler's Notebook from Ink Bandit on Etsy. And that is my, like, health and wellness Traveler's Notebook, which I do plan on sharing um, once I get it all set up. An umbrella, because we are in England, that's necessary. I have this little um, Louis Vuitton mini pochette, which has some like bits and bobs in it. I don't know, like chapstick, 
it's like a walking pharmacy. And then this is a pocket traveler's notebook. This is actually from an Etsy shop that's no longer making traveler's notebook. I don't think they're open anymore because when I looked, it said that they are like no longer making stuff or they on vacation, but they've been on vacation for a very long time. So I don't think they're making stuff anymore. But I got this like a year and a half ago. This is my first traveler's notebook and I'm using it currently as a wallet. Then I have my phone, which I will slip in to one of these pockets. So I just slipped it into the back pocket there. Then I have my keys in a Louis Vuitton um, clay key pouch. And I'm gonna put that in the pocket on the other side, which fits perfectly. And then I have a little pen holdery doodad. And that has everything in it and it's still, I mean, it's not that full. So cute. So excited. So let's take a look inside. So I have the narrow standing up right there, my A6 down at the bottom, and then my pocket. My umbrella is at the very, very bottom. I have my keys in here, my pens, and then my phone. I don't have anything clipped here yet because I really don't know what I'm gonna put in there. And I don't have any pens in here. But I would say that's pretty full. I mean, it does get heavy very quickly, but I don't carry all my traveler's notebooks all the time with me. So um, I could still fit a reusable bag for groceries. I can easily fit, here I'll show you. I can easily fit my laptop, which I just might need to move things around a bit. This is a MacBook Pro of 13 inch and it fits in there perfectly so now that is so heavy <laughs> with my um macbook pro in there but all my stuff still fits and i could still fit a water bottle down there too if you're traveling or something like that so this is super heavy but it's not uncomfortable because these straps are so thick that they really support the weight of the bag very well on your shoulder. Is this something that if I'm gonna be traveling a long distance by foot, I don't wanna carry all this? No, but if you're just gonna be in an airport or in the car, I don't think it would be that big of a deal if you're just carrying it you know, from here to there very quickly. Um, then the only other thing I will say about it too that I like about the straps is that the only bag I have as a tote that I use regularly that kind of made me want to invest in a leather tote is I do have a Longchamp um, La Pliage large bag, which I love a lot. I bought it probably over a year ago, like maybe even two years ago, and I use it a ton, but it's nylon. The corners right here are already fraying on it and the straps are rolled so they fall off. So I always have one strap because the strap like will not stay on. And these stay on really well um, and stay put from what I've noticed just in the last like five minutes. But I'm so excited <laughs> about this. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm gonna be using it and I'll do an update on it when I kind of break it in a little and I'll show you more of what I have inside it once I get to carrying it every day. So thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't before. Um, I plan on making a lot more videos on my traveler's notebooks and things like that. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.